the teaser a bit like basically you want to do it like fast right but no marks huh so let me show you like the see ah. hello Langjay Mathematics here Langjay with you talk about this without using calculator how are you gonna solve this thing man so there's two hints here given by the questions okay so the problem here is let's say a question comes up this and you say that teacher can I use a calculator and press 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 no because if you do that you won't gain marks because you're gonna use the hint and do some working so that you get you, you gain the marks, right? So what we're gonna do, okay, number one, of course there's a shortcut later, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, number one, that's the decimal point here, right? So what you're gonna do is to understand this thing. Square root 10 without calculator, can you do it? Answer is no. Square root 100, can you do it without using calculator? Yes, it's a perfect square. So it will be 10. Square root 1000, can you do it without using calculator? No, because it's not a perfect square. How about square root 10000 with four zeros, you will get? 100 right so these are the perfect square but, but of course if you go on you get like square root with six zero you get 1000 and so on so the thing here is two zero you get one four zeros you get two then when you come into this case this is what we're going to do move one move two move three and move four and the reason being if you do it this way can you see once you move four decimal places it will become 3.8 this is something big, right? 38,000, okay? This is 3.8. You're going to make it like bigger. So you're, how are you going to make it bigger? So you're going to times it. Times with how many places you move. Four places indicates four zero. Sorry. Ah, so under Langjus rule, I see that times divide, you can separate, combine. So we're going to separate this. So you're going to get like square root 3.8 times with square root. One zero 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 zero. That's a four zero, right? So by using the so-called perfect square knowledge that you have, hey, square root three point eight is a given hint, right? So you're gonna put like one point nine four nine times with one hundred, and you're gonna get nineteen. No, it's not nineteen. Move two place, right? Times one hundred. So one nine four point nine. So that's my height. Okay. So that's your answer. So when you come into this case, they give you small things, right? So small things. What are you gonna do? Okay, now see. So, starting from decimal point, you're going to move like 1, 2, okay, 3, wait, hey, can I use 3.8? 3. 3. The answer is no. The reason being, 3 places indicates 3, 0. Where you can't do this, right? See, you can't do it. Right, right. So, you're going to move like 4 plates, right? So, once you get 4 plates, you get 38. So, you're going to do like square root. Okay, I'm going to skip the workings, right? So, 38. Divide all times. So you can't use di times, right? If you use times, it becomes bigger. So this is a small number where you're going to divide. You divide how many places? Four places. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right? Uh. So this thing, this thing is the hint. So you will get 6.164 divide. Square root 10,000, you get 100. So that's the one, right? Perfect square. So you're going to divide by 2, 0. You're going to move to the front and make it smaller. 0 0.06. One, six, four, ding. Okay, now, hey, coming to this case, a weird one. So what are you going to do? You don't have to care about all these perfect square things, the reason being. Okay, now we're going to come up with some new ideas. Can you see there's a square here? But there's no square, but the, the given the given digits here is like kind of similar, right? I mean, as in, if you ignore the decimal point, it's kind of similar, right? right? So what are you going to do is, you're going to do this. Now, everyone, agree or not? 5 square equals to 25. Therefore, if you write 5 equals to square root 25, it's the same thing. So when you come to this case, right, you can write 38 is equals to 6.164 square. I'm doing the same idea. So when you move it over here, you notice that A is the same thing but different place values. See that? So what are you going to do? Okay, so this is what you're going to do. 6.164 square with... with this is 61, right? You don't have to care about all these 2040 0, 0 things over here. This one just you gotta tell yourself this. Nah, everyone. 6, you're gonna make it 61 times 10. Times 10. Wait, square, follow. They, are, they, they fall under the same word, right? The square word, then you follow. Square root word, then you follow. Without square, then you follow, right? This is gonna be square. So 6.164 square. Ding. 38 times with 10 square 100 so you're gonna get 3800 okay
the teaser a bit like you can see you want to do it like fast right but no marks huh so let me show you like the pro way come see huh? see a uh, different color uh. this one like to check answer you know okay see everyone see ah uh. check answer uh. decimal point right one because square root uh. square root uh. one two cut one two cut so that can you see four between three and eight so we're gonna choose this and what you do this see 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 decimal point put it back Hey, that's how you check, you know. Okay, now see, see, see. One nine four nine, right? Take the whole thing without decimal point. You put like one nine four nine. Oh, lama, saw that. Okay, now here, here, all the time, all the time. See, see, see. Okay, decimal point. Now draw lines. Now one two draw, one two draw. Why one two draw, one two draw? Square square root. Cube cube root. You draw like one two three draw line. One two three draw line. So zero, you put zero. Double zero, you put zero. The moment you get not zero, you start placing the digits. Okay, wait, which one are you gonna choose? 38. Nah, don't care about the lesson point. 6164. Nah, I saw that. So that's how you do it. Okay?